everybody welcome back uh, in this video we're going to quickly rig up our train here and do some parenting uh, so that the train moves along with the joints uh, so the first thing we're going to do is up here in the top left hand corner we're going to switch from our modeling menu set to the rigging menu set uh, and we're going to go to skeleton and we're going to create joints and now uh, the easiest way for us to do this is in the top view, so I'm going to switch over really quick to my top view. Let's zoom out some. And then wireframe is also best for this. So press 4 on your keyboard to get to wireframe mode. And then, uh, holding X, we're going to snap to the grid, uh, and I'm going to place a joint right there in the middle at our origin. Uh, still holding X, I'm going to come up and we have that grid line that we left uh, in between the engine and our car. I'm going to place another one right there. Then we're going to scooch up. We're going to go right in the middle of this first car. We're placing five joints here. So that's one, two, three. And then in the middle between here again, always holding X, snap to that grid. And then last one here in the middle of the last car. Uh, and then you can press enter or return to finish that up. Uh, and in the outliner here, you can see where we made all these joints. Uh, so now we can switch back uh, to our perspective view. And uh, we're just going to uh, add our engines and our cars as children of some of these joints instead of actually going through uh, and doing uh, any kind of real like skin binding or anything like that. Just to ease us into our first rating project here. So let's take our engine. Uh, and. As you know, we can middle mouse click and drag uh, things here in the outliner. Uh, so we can take our engine and put it right under uh, joint one. Uh, another way we can do this is by selecting multiple objects and parenting them that way. Uh, so I can select my car one object and then control or command selecting uh, joint three. And then I can press P on my keyboard and that will put that as a child there too. Uh, so the way you'd want to do that is select the child and then the parent. Uh, and then however you want to for our last car, put that under joint five. So I'll do the, the keyboard shortcut again. So I'm gonna select my car, select the joint, and then press P. And so now you can tell that this is gonna work right by uh, if you select one of those joints, the joint one, three, or five, you can go and rotate these joints and see what's happening. So joint one is the, the top level joint of this hierarchy, and so that moves everything, including, you see the train rotates. Now if I go and select joint three, just those last two cars are going to go, and then finally joint five will rotate that last car. Uh, and so that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to uh, create a, a path uh, for the train to follow, and then we're going to uh, add that train onto that path and have it go around. So join us next time.